Just what is it that characterizes a pianist like Dudana Mazmanishvili? And of course, the mechanics of the keyboard are always produced in exactly the same way to meet the Bechstein ideal of precision. Retardation is zero, while lightness and the ideal balance between resistance and fluidity come with increasingly finer, more minute corrections. When the keys are aligned on their special friction-preventing pins, we're dealing with tenths, with trifles. Only the perfectly trained eye can still see what's happening, yet a sensitive touch would feel even smaller differences when playing as a source of impairment, and not just when they're caressed as poetically as Nadia Mokhtari's fingers. The hammers for the stops on the 88 tones are optimally balanced by heat. On top of this, their stems have previously been carefully sorted in line with their natural tone oscillation, so they can be fitted on the keyboard appropriately to the pitch. And yet, there is a magic touch, some sort of spell. In romantic terms, one might almost believe that somewhere hidden in some phase of development, a soul has slipped in unseen. At the very least, an individual emerges, a character is formed. A damper may still be relatively unaffected by which individual has installed and adjusted it to achieve a fine decaying dampening for every sound. But a hammerhead will not be able to stay uninfluenced, not during the various grinding processes, and certainly not in the later intonation. C. Bechstein has no intention of limiting this scope for adaptation to the taste of the pianist, but the framework on which individuality is built should begin as a level playing field of unquestionable excellence. <laughs>